with honeybee things and things. Today I am here to do a video on my number 58 American Girl Dolls. They are identical. I purchased them just so I can have twins and I am so excited because my dad is a triplet so and I never had twins so these are my twins here. All right but before we get started I wanted to say please give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Okay, so now we can get started with our video. Before I take the dolls out of the box, I do just want to say that there were talks about number 58 being retired. However, I'm glad that they did not do that because I think they are very pretty dolls. They do remind me of Addie. This is one of the Addy modes, but a lot softer. So I want to take them out so we can start looking at them. Okay, so here we go. We have two dolls that are identical. Um, I am going to need a name for them. So while we're doing this video, please think of a name for both of the girls, um, which would be very nice. And thank you for that. Okay, so let's get started with um, just the way that they look. As you can see, they are um, identical um, girls. They, they look just alike. The skin tone, the hair, the clothes and everything. But there are some blemishes that I'm not pleased with. I'm going to start with this doll here. Her hair is very tight, very pretty. You don't see any tracks or anything like that. It, they made this doll perfect to me. Um, her hair is beautiful. I do want to say that, you know, you want to be careful with her hair, uh, combing it, um, styling it, or anything of that matter, because once you start taking the curls out, you may not get them back. You may have to send it to the down hospital to get a new head. And we both know, or we all know, that um, the heads and all the limbs and stuff is very costly. So you may have to re purchase the dial all together but um she does have beautiful hair um the curls is very tight as i said before um you can style her hair in various styles without combing it you can pull it back from her face put a bow here or even a headband that will pull back all the hair you can put the dial hair in pigtails if you would like maybe two maybe even just um, one up here but with that being said, you want to make sure that you're very careful with her hair. Also, her skin is very pretty, very bright. Um, again, she does have that um, Addy mode. She has feathered um, eyebrows, which is very pretty. Her eye sockets are very deep inside. I do like her cheekbones, very rosy. Um, but the Addy mode um, that they had before was very dark and very hard looking. She has a very soft looking uh, face, which I really do like. Um, the outfit here is very nice. She has this pink uh, jacket that goes with her sundress. And when you zip the jacket, it has multi colors here, which is very, very pretty. And I thought very tasteful for the outfit. Pretty. Um, the only thing that I do not like about this outfit is the shoes. The shoes are very hard. Um, I don't like the um, the glitter shoes. It's okay, but I think I want to see something different. Um, I think this dress would have looked really nice with maybe some wedges, cloths, or even some sandals. Um, but overall, the doll is beautiful, uh, well made. She does come with a soft body here. Her limbs and her, uh, her arms and her legs is hard, as well as her face. Uh, very well put together. Just some things, minor things that could be changed. So this is what the first doll looks like. Now let's take a look at this second doll. I'm very, very disappointed how her hair is. As you can see, it's a little more wilder than um, the first doll. Uh, you can see where, you know, the uh, tracks is right on her forehead, which is not a good thing. When you pull her hair back, you can see that. And I don't want my dolls to look like that. With that being said, I may have to take her back, you know, and get another doll. I really don't want to do that because I don't want to split the girls up. However, I want my dolls to be perfect or close to perfect. But everything else looks okay. Her skin and everything, her eyes, her feathered eyebrows. Of course, she has the same outfit on. 
And when I got her, guys, she was not wrapped like the other doll. She nearly fell out the box. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, she was back ordered, so maybe they brushed the doll here. I'm not really sure, but I'm not really pleased. And also, her undies are are messed up. I'm not really sure again what went on with her. Um, some of the stuff is just coming apart. So yes, I may have to send her back. Put in the comments of what do you guys think about this situation here. Not pleased at all. But overall, still a beautiful doll. You know, if I do have to send her back, I can't wait till my other one gets back so we can get started with the things that we want to do with the dolls. Um, also, the dolls did come with a book, and it is about friendship, how to keep them, and how to make them. I think this is a nice touch on um, girls today because we all we need to know how to have friends and how to make them. So I do have two dolls here that I wanted to showcase along with my new twin girl doll. Um, they do have similar, if not almost the same mold. Of course, as you can see, they look like the Addy mold. This doll right here, which is Jasmine, and yes, she is on a stand along with Winter. Um, she has more of the older style mode of Addie, which was still very pretty. As you can see, her skin tone is a little bit more um, darker than the girl over here, the new dial here, and also winter. So of course, um, I'm not really sure what year I purchased her, but my daughter was three years old, so maybe 15 years ago. So this is what the um, older um, Addie mold looked like, which is still very pretty. She has the long um, straight hair, which is very manageable. You can style it in any um, way without any issues. Um, but yes, she looks like uh, my twin girl doll, just a little darker. And then you have Winter here that has the same mold as well. Her mold is a little similar than um, to the twin girl doll than it is with Jasmine. And you can look at the skin tones on their arms that Jasmine is a lot darker than Winter. And Winter and the new doll that you guys are gonna help me with the name with have similar skin tones. Guys, tell me what do you think about my dolls? Um, I love my dolls. I think they're very beautiful. I think that they are, you know, they have a lot of personality, regardless of, you know, the modes that they have. Um, but I want to hear from you. I want to know what you think about my dolls. And don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel.